Coding Owls, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between heap and the stack memory. Now, if you are into Java and uh, you know how to declare a variable, you should also understand that JVM have divided your memory into two parts, the heap memory and the stack memory. Now, the stack memory is basically used for storing the static memory allocation and basically for the execution of the threads. So, the things which you store inside your methods or in simple terms, whatever are your local variables or the variables you define inside your method goes inside the stack memory. And as long as the method is alive, the variable will actually stay there in the stack memory. Heap memory is used in Java for allocation of the dynamic memory or the JRE runtime classes or in short, any object you declare will directly go on the heap memory. So this heap memory is basically nothing related to the heap memory of your CPU, but because we are storing the heap of the objects there, that is the reason it is called as a heap memory. Try to understand this whole concept with the support of an example. So I have a class radio. Now this radio have a method play. It's a very simple class. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a relationship between car and a radio. Before we move ahead, try to understand one thing very clearly, very clearly, very clearly. Objects and instance variable goes inside the heap memory. Local variable goes on the stack memory. That's final. Object and instance variable will always land upon the heap memory, whereas your local variable will stand upon the stack memory. So if I start understanding here, I have a class car. Now class car have a string name. This is an instance variable will go on the heap memory. Radio R instance variable will go on the heap memory. I have got the method start and I have got a play radio method, which contain R is equal to new radio. Now, when I start this method, this object R will basically be available on my stack memory, but it will be pointing to the radio which is available inside my heap memory. Now the whole operation will actually start from the demo. So the first thing that will go on the stack is nothing but my class, the demo and the main method will be the first method available on the stack. When it goes on the stack, it will do what it will start the object of class car, but the car will be available on the heap memory, but the variable of car C will be available on the stack memory. Car C will internally point out to the radio R method and the string name method. Why? Because they both are different instance variable and available on the heap memory. So it is required for you guys to understand actually the difference between heap memory and the stack memory. Reason being, it will help you to understand the implementation more easily. So you can find the source code on the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel for more content.